So here I am using Lexica Tensor Leonardo Playground and Clip Drop. You will find all links on my description. Hi, Internet. This is Design Junkie. Your friend brought a case study of generative AI. Nowadays, the whole Internet is bugged by artificial intelligence and generative AI, where we can generate text, image, music, animation just by typing as a prompt. So in this video, I am going to experiment text to image generation on five different free-to-use amazing websites. Here, I am going to use same prompt on every application and without the negative prompt. Then we will see how they understand this simple prompt to create images. By the way, these five applications are using same stable diffusion to generate images. But are they going to generate the same kind of images or all application will act differently? Let's see. I have written a simple prompt, actually two prompts, but I found the second one is good one. So the prompt is glowing jellyfish and illuminated fish floating through a neon cyberpunk city. No detailed explanation, no complex definition, just a simple thought. Let's see how much they understood. First, I will start with Lexica. This website is already open on my browser. Go to generate and we can see the prompt box along with negative prompt. Very simple interface. A kid will be able to understand this page. Let's make dimension as square 1024 pixels and hit generate. Wow, it generate little faster than others. We have got images. Well, these images are different from my expectation. The glowing jellyfish is not looking as jellyfish, but sort of spaceship, isn't it? Also, I have got one big glowing fish here. Though they are looking good, but seems something is missing, isn't it? Now let's move to Tensor Art. This website is looking a little more complex than Lexica. It has models, post, leaderboard, etc. Well, model part is interesting. There's so many different trained models. So what is trained model? Basically are the style of image generation. I mean, each model show what kind of result it can give you. People train them to create specific style of images. Okay, let's go to workspace and see. Hmm, it has much more options than Lexica. Choose the model first. I would prefer SDXL model, which is the latest stable diffusion model for high quality output. Paste the prompt and keep additional options as it is. Let's check the setting. We can make it square to compare with others. Sampling steps by default is 20. Let's make it 50 or so. Not accepting it, then make it 30 or so. Now push the magic button called generate. Let it generate and meanwhile I can jump to the Leonardo application. Leonardo has nice interface. We can see the featured models and recent creation. There are various models for different style of outputs. Dream Shaper 7 is nice one. I have tasted and got good results. You guys can also try different models. Let's click on the Dream Shaper 7 model. Now we are on the prompt page. Paste the copied prompt on the prompt area. There are additional options on left and see there is a special style inside Dream Shaper which is Leonardo style. Number of images would be four. Leonardo free version gives 150 token to create images. As you see, four images will cost eight tokens only. Keep all as it is and generate. Leave this application and jump to PlaygroundAI.com. Once you sign in and enter, you will see lots of images created by users, and they are arranged with different tabs like landscapes, fashions, anime, etc. There is a space for my feeds too. On the top right, there is a small button called Create. Go and click there, little different from others. There are two tabs, Board and Canvas. We will use Board for the creation. Paste the prompt, keep other settings as it is. Image dimension is square. Keep all other settings same. Check the filter, choose Cinematic. I think this filter would give me better result. You can try other options too. Now generate. Now the last one, which is my favorite, and developed by Stability.ai is Clip Drop. Simple and clean design. No more complicated stuffs. Just go to Tools and use Stable Diffusion XL. Paste the prompt. Check styles and choose photographic. Now simply press generate, that's all. There can be long quay due to people using this tools from all over the world. This gives every day 400 image generation. Okay, let me check all created images that we received from five different websites. Lexica created four images. Tensor has given me only one image. How? 
Well, this was my mistake. Let me generate three more images to get the variation. Leonardo is cool. These glowing jellyfishes are properly scattered, has a nice city background. Playground created almost similar images, but looking much better than others. Clip drop is similar, but no glowing fish presents here. Tensor art generated childish images, not photographic at all. Maybe I need to try different models to achieve the proper image. Leonardo is looking cool. It followed my prompt properly and camera angles are also cool. Clip drop given me with one jellyfish, then multiple, and I liked the photographic treatment with depth of field. It don't look like digital art, but looking kind of photography taken. Lexica has a typical style, and you cannot change them. They need to give more options to change as per user's choice. Playground style is more dramatic, and I like this treatment of water body or the neon street. So this experiment was with a basic prompt for newbies, and from my perspective, Playground Leonardo and especially Clip Drop can generate more cinematic image without writing long prompts. So, guys, what's your opinion? Share your experience in comment box. I will come up with more such free tools experiments. Till then, goodbye.